Uh, now I would like to invite Dr. Arsalan Ahmed, Dr. Abdullah Ahmed, and uh, Dr. Muhammad Umar Aziz to join us for the uh, discussion panel. And uh, please uh, turn on your uh, sp uh, speakers and unmute yourselves. Uh, we want to start with the first question uh, in the chat group. Uh, the, the first question from uh, Muhammad Umar Aziz is that uh, why IFA or ELISA is not a preferred test for the di diagnosis of uh, erythria? Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? Um, pardon? Uh, Muhammad Umar Aziz? Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, the first question is that why IFA or uh, ELISA are not a preferable test uh, for the diagnosis of erythria. Ah, okay, thank you. It's a very good question. Actually, uh, indirect fluorescent assay and ELISA both are non-specific. And uh, the reason is that there is a cross uh, reactivity between anaplasma and different species of erythria. So on the basis of uh, serological test, we cannot differentiate uh, them. And the other thing is, uh, these are not very specific. They cannot tell us about the active infection. So if the infection is already gone uh, and the animal is dead already, but the bodies are there, so I'm positive in the basis of ELISA and indirect fluorescent test. So that's that. Thank you. And the uh, second question from you is that, uh, what is the detection rate of ELISA for, and uh, PCR? Uh, so the detection rate for ELISA uh, it varies uh, from patient to patient, but uh, for PCR it's more advanced, and so for that the detection rate is very high. If, if it's almost hundred percent, if there is uh, a PNS present and if we have uh, correctly optimized the PCR, then the results will be hundred percent. Thank you very much. Uh, also. Uh, another question again from uh, Muhammad Umar Aziz is that, uh, is there any other uh, Ehrlichia species having zoonotic importance other than uh, Ehrlichia uh, uh, caffeinins? Uh, yes, uh, actually uh, mainly Ehrlichia schwensis is uh, only respond, was considered uh, zoonotic, but in recently in Venezuela, uh, they have also reported six cases in humans uh, by Ehrlichia canis also. So that's why uh, Ehrlichia canis is also uh, becoming an emerging uh, zoonotic classification. Uh, so that's why we need to focus on that. Thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. So if any other person has any other question, they can uh, raise your hand. Our speakers are ready to answer your questions. Well, it seems that there is no other question from our speakers. Uh, anyway, if, if anyone has any further question, you can email us or our speakers uh, to ask them your questions uh, later. Uh, so I, was, uh, I wanted to thank you everyone, uh, and especially our speakers for this discussion and uh, very informative presentations.